four. Many people, again, would argue that terrorism and violence has no religion. You cannot really combine it with any religion. So it has its own value. It has its own symbol. Terrorist is a person with no religion. A terrorist is a person who follows something that is completely different, something that is completely beyond understanding. So some people would argue that, others would insist no. Religion and terrorism are best partners. Okay, so um, we almost came to the end. I, what I want to share with you now is Praying and fasting, customs and food, grudges from stigma and war. Where, where is, what is the cent central part of the problem? Where is the central part of the problem? Like, why does faith, why does belief make us sore? Why are we so rough and tough? Like, why is generally the perception in people's mind is that strong believers are sore people? Usually people with frowny faces people with aggressive voice tone. Why is that the case? Why? Question is yours. Yeah. Does God need us to pray for him? He's getting any benefit from us if we pray or fast or wearing or... This is just... He asked for these things. May I believe that he created us for something more than that. This is, the worship is something just worship because he deserves to be wor to be worshipped, okay? But he sent us some guidance to live on the earth together. Otherwise, he'll be again on the same books, either Bible or Torah or Quran. He would, again, the guidance for us to kill each other. So, according to these books you're talking about, these books will bring the question, is it a triune or a single God? So what is the nature of God? Is he a single nature God or a triune God? Both of them are one. God in, God in Christianity is one. God in Islam and Judaism is one. But in Christianity, God is of three natures in one. And in Islam and Judaism, no, it's one God with one nature. Um, pray facing east or the Mecca shrine. Pray towards Jerusalem, temple, or towards Mecca. Um, was this, did this create any problem at all in history? <laughs> How many problems? All the problems are How many people died for these throughout history? How many people? Well, this or the name of this? Regardless. No, it is <laughs> Yeah. But many, many millions of people died because of this. Because of Jerusalem, where the Holy Temple is, or was, the first temple, or the second temple, Solomon. And Jerusalem is, again, is the place where the Nativity Church is, where the Church of the Holy Spalker is as well, the cave where the body of Christ was there. It is the place where Jesus Christ was crucified. It is a place of lots of holiness and the mount and so on and so forth. And for the Muslims as well, Jerusalem is of extreme importance because it is believed to be the place where the prophet, you know, had two great miracles 
of traveling from Mecca to Jerusalem at night and then being exalted to the heavens from this place as well. And there is the, you know, Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock Mosque there as well of extreme importance. There is the third most holy place for Muslims. And then there's the Mecca Shrine or the Mecca Kaaba or the Mecca Cube. The Kaaba is a cube. And lots of wars have been struck because of this, especially because of Jerusalem, control of Jerusalem. Millions of people have died throughout history from both sides. And fasting. So are we fasting on Yom Kippur for Jewish people? Are we fasting 40 days for Lent? for Christian people? Are we fasting Ramadan for 30 or 29 days? Any problems in this? Hello? Any problems in this? <laughs> Eating, drinking, contact between man and woman, exposing hair or not, wearing shirt, clothes or not, one marriage, one divorce, no divorce, yes, no, yes, divorce, no divorce. Polygamy or no polygamy. Multiple marriages, no multiple marriages. Can you pray in any language or does it have to be the original language of the book? In our book, yeah, one language. So when you say our book, you're referring to which book? Quran. Okay, so um, has this ever been a problem? How about non-speakers of Arabic? How about non-speakers of Arabic? Is this an easy thing for them? No. At all. Right? And do you know for a fact that there were no conflicts between Arabs and non-Arab Muslims at all since the very beginning of time? <laughs> Was there a huge problem between Arabs and non-Arab Muslims? Since the time of the Abbasid Empire, for yes. example, what did to the split of the Abbasid Empire? Wasn't it fight between Arabs and non-Arabs? Both were Muslims. Yes? yes. Of course, because you like you are born because as a non-Arab, I feel that you are born with an advantage. You didn't earn that advantage over me. Why should you have this advantage over me? I didn't choose to, not, to be born not an, not an Arab. You didn't do anything to be born an Arab. But now you understand the book I don't. And then you show off. I know the book and you don't. And you want me to understand like you are. Yeah, so, you understand exactly. So this makes you feel that you're more elitist than the other. Excuse me, who said Turkey? If you read Quran, probably you will just hate the religion because I tried to uh, read in Turkish, I don't know Arab. And it's, it says lots of negative, negative things like beat your wife, um, kill from, these people. Book like this, you catch only that word. <laughs> Of and it has, it has so yes. many translations for that book. Because it's important. No, if, it's my, if my religion wants me to be a good person, he shouldn't say, he, it shouldn't uh, discriminate people, men and women. It has to be equal. What does it mean, like, beat your wife? Again, yeah, exactly. I asked our teacher and it says, uh, he, uh, uh, he explained to me that there are two means of that word, beat or leave her alone. Right, but I don't know mm. um, Arab, and I don't have um, chance to find Arab people around me all the time. Right, so I try to understand this religion, but I can't because they they give this book to us. Okay, read this is Quran. Okay, um, but it doesn't match with here. So how can I accept? Right. So there are lots of interpretation 
uh, problems. Not a big issue because even for Arabic people, some people doesn't match with, the, with their. So, 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 so again, the language is not like the Arabic people. It's very difficult. What about others who doesn't speak Arabic? Doesn't so it need to be uh, interpreted in a good way and in, in in their language, so they can understand the real meaning of what is written in the holy book. Okay. Now again, we return back to not from book to translation of book. Okay, yeah. now this is the point that Arab, Arab, Arabic language is very, very wide language, very wide. And even for us in Arabic, we cannot understand the old um, the meaning. things. Yes, sometimes the meaning itself is very hard to know. We, uh, we use a lot of names for Arabic and we don't know the meaning of that and name. Language has always been a problem with all religions, actually. Because what language did Jesus Christ speak in? Aramaic. 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 How many Aramaic Bibles do we have? No. None. Yeah. None. The, the Bibles we have, the ancient Bibles we have, are in Greek. Yeah. And the ones came later are Latin. It has nothing to do with the language of Christ at all. Not even from the same family of languages. You know, the Aramaic language is a Semitic language, just like Hebrew and Arabic. Latin and Greek have nothing to do whatsoever. But this is the reference. If I want to check the original, I'd go to Latin and Greek. But who said it's the original? <laughs> the original can only be in Aramaic. Who said it's the original? This is considered the original by the Christian people today. It's not. How many Christian people, again, know Latin or Greek? And another part of the Christian faith as well is the Old Testament, isn't it? How many Christian people know Hebrew? And it's not, it's not modern Hebrew, by the way. It's very different from modern Hebrew. It is ancient biblical Hebrew, different from the current Hebrew as well. So there is a lot of racism here as well. <laughs> Why are you giving an advantage to something? Why is Rome the center of the Catholic faith? Was, was Jesus Roman? Why is Rome? Why is it Rome? Any good reason? Why is it Rome? And, and, and what is the biggest percentage of Christians on earth? By far, Catholics. They all follow Rome. There's no relationship between Christ and Rome. Nothing at all. So it is racism. There is like major racism in all religions. Major, major, you know, racism, huge racism. And then, um, you know, like Sibeli here talked, talked about women. You know, like treatment of women in a very cruel and savage way, according to maybe direct meanings of the Quran. How is the status of women according to the Bible? No different. If anybody would like to argue, please go ahead, but it's no different. According to the direct text, it is no different. Woman is inferior to the man. Completely inferior to the man as well. If you take the direct meaning, it is com the woman is completely inferior to the man. The man is the head of the woman. Yeah. So Christ is the head of the church, the tr church is the head of the man, and the man is the head of the woman. What does this mean? It's open to interpretation. Just like beat your wives. No, no. Is it beat your wives or leave them alone? Please as it, go ahead. So anyone can make an interpretation as it. This is your own interpretation. This is the way you understand it. But does the test, does the text say clearly what you say? No. It says the woman, is, the man is the head of the woman. Yes. Period. Yeah, the you can understand it in any way you has want. To obey the man as whatever he says. Exactly, exactly. So, like, it's a lot of degradation for women. <laughs> Beautiful. This is your own interpretation. This is your interpretation again. This is your interpretation. 
please, please go ahead. Like, some people can't express their ideas uh, in English way. It's easier for them to talk in Arabic, so they explain it. It's a little bit similar when foreigner people try to read Quran mm -hmm. and they don't understand what Quran said. Yeah. As you're born in an Arabic background, then you automatically have an edge over someone. Did you earn that edge? Did you earn that advantage? No, just born with it. And you show off of the other non-Arabic people. Oh yes, we have the language of the Quran. Yes, we are the ones who have it. Yeah, if you are speaking right now, if someone born in Arabic family, that means he can understand Quran? Much easier than no. someone who is not born. Not at all. Not at all. I'm I, trying now with I my kids. My kids now growing up here. I beg to differ with you. Okay. The language you are speaking is completely different than the language but we are writing. What language did you learn in school? Myself? What? Yeah, what language did you learn in school? Arabic. Yeah, which Arabic? Syrian Arabic, colloquial Arabic, or did you learn Formal. classic Arabic? Formal. Formal. You learned the classic Arabic, which is the Arabic of the Quran, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah but we are talking about the language. Someone born with uh, with yeah. Arabic uh, the news background. In your that country, doesn't. The news that people watch on television every day. Which language is it? Very classic. Yeah, <laughs> the newspapers that people read every day in your country. Is it which language? Classic. Arabic. Classic, of course. So you yeah. definitely have an advantage over people who are not Arabic, of course. In our village in Abu Egypt, there is women, uh, many of the men. That's good. <laughs> That's good, but this is this is cultural, has nothing to do with religion. Now, religion and culture are very much mixed together, but um, are there, please be correct me if I'm wrong, are there many texts in both books, if taken word by word, if taken literally, aren't they a call for violence and war? Yes or no? Yes. Be honest with yourselves. Yes or no? Yeah, yes. But it's also, again, the translation of this word. Okay. This is the, now again, uh, let's go back to one important <laughs> point. <laughs> okay. Quran as book, it's very general. Okay. Okay. If I have company and I have to put policy for the company, I'll put it more strict than the Quran. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can put lines like this, straight line like this, no right or left. But in Quran, it's very general. If you want to know how to fast, we don't know. There's nothing mentioned about fasting in Quran. Okay. If you want to pray, we don't have any idea about the prayer in Quran itself. So again, we count on different uh, references to know how the, these, tra these okay. details. How are but the Quran itself is general. Okay, how are non-believers of Islam described in the Quran? According to the surface text. Never mind of the internal interpretation. Surface text. Are they good people? Are they applauded? No. People who do not believe in Islam. Are they applauded? Okay, but... Uh, we make you people to know, right? There, this is what... We make you people to know each other so without mentioning anything about. Is this the only thing in the Quran, or are there many things that say very negative things about yeah. other non believers of Islam? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, now, now, okay. Which meaning is which? Uh, each, uh, each so, according to the. Yeah, but let me ask you here again. According to the surface meaning of the Quran, where will the non believers of Islam go in the afterlife? Hell. Hell. So they'll be burning. Yeah. So they will be burning in hell, right? They will be burning in hell. Yeah, they will be burning in hell, right? Okay. So people who do not believe in Islam in this way, they will be burning in hell. Okay, moving to Christianity. If you do not believe that Jesus Christ is the Logos, is the Word of God that came to save the earth and He was crucified and His blood saved us and gave us eternal salvation. If you don't believe in that, where are you going in the afterlife? In hell. Eternally. Eternally. Okay? 
uh, what does Christianity say about any prophet that came after Jesus Christ? A liar. A liar. Like, no more bigger insult is there. Okay, what does it say about the Jewish people? Are they good people, according to the Bible? How many Jewish people were slaughtered, killed, crushed throughout history because of verses in the Bible saying that the Jewish people are responsible for the crucifixion of Jesus Christ? How many? Millions, right? Yeah. Millions. Okay. How many innocent Jewish people, again, were killed by the Muslim people because those Jewish people were not very good to the prophet? How many? Many, yeah. Like, it might be heavy on people's tongues, but it's the truth. Okay. How many people were killed from both sides, Muslims and Christians, because they don't believe in Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, or because those are non-believers, they believe that Jesus Christ is a prophet, he's not the Son of God, so okay, let's go and chop each other's heads. How many times did this happen? A lot, right? A lot. Absolutely a lot. Are there verses in both books that can call for violence and killing? Surface meaning? Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes, absolutely. Is there a hidden meaning? Might be, possibly. But the surface meaning, no. The surface meaning, just call, just go and kill. Just go and kill. No other place for anyone unless he believes in what I believe in. So, the question here, like, is it really prayer and diet and rituals for you and everyone? Is this what you really care about as a believer of religion? Or is it your pride? <laughs> what do you really care about? Do you really care about, you know, like, people, do you really care about people eating or praying? Or is it just a tool you're using to say, I'm better than you. I pray and you don't. I fast and you don't. No, but this is I'm better than you. No, I have my pride. Between you and your God. So you pray or not? This, no one else has anything to do. If I'm, I'm fasting now in front of you, what, you don't know what I'm doing uh, in the vaccine. Okay. So if you, in your country of origin, if you go not fasting in the street during Ramadan, is that fine in my country? Very fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is that fine? Of course not. No, no it's fine. <laughs> Trust me not. Trust me, you can check your country. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not it's, not it's not fine. I was in high school, and because of my period, I couldn't fast. So I took my lunch, and I went to the park, and man attacked me. And he yelled at me, like, why I'm not fasting? And I couldn't do anything. Yeah, I experienced that. Absolutely. 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 How dare you not pass? How dare you not do this? How dare you not pray? How dare you not pray? Did you go to church on Sunday? <laughs> did you or did you not? Why didn't you? Uh, are you praying in Ramadan or not? Oh. But in our book, there is a text uh, that said when you want to pray, you can go. Uh, don't pray in front of other people like hypocrites do. Yes, it says do not pray in front of other people like hypocrites do. Yes. And, and pray to your God. And, uh, Absolutely, yes, I know this text. Not like uh, well. other people pray outside in, uh, in public uh, space. Yes, but what, what the book says again, it says you're the light of the world, okay, and you're the salt of the earth. How about the other people? So you're the light of the world and the other people are the darkness of the world? What about it? You're the sons of God and the others are sons of what? I know, but according to the book, you are the sons of God, you're the light of the world, the salt of the earth. How about the other people? So it's clear, like, you know, the surface meaning of each of the books has a lot of discrimination, has a lot of racism. This is the surface meaning. Whether it means something else, possibly, very possible. But there is a clear message that people who believe in Islam, people who believe in Christianity, people who believe in Judaism, they're the saved ones, loved ones by God. The others are garbage. The others will just eternally rot in hell. 
eternally. <laughs> I believe the religions came for brain, not for heart. If you want to follow someone with heart, okay, blind, you are completely blind, you don't need this brain, and then, yes, you are one of the cows to be driven. Okay, but if you want to be someone uh, responsible and indivi in real individual, you have to use your brain. So, and it starts not from that. I just want very important thing. Uh, it starts from the beginning. I believe everyone he should start on religion, not taking as as inheritance from his family. He should start from his own belief. I feel I'm lucky. I I grow up in family. It is very open family, but I start from zero. You know what the meaning of zero? Zero where there's nothing. And start reading. I believe this, what I reach right now, is the right thing. Maybe someone else feeling this, uh, saying that I'm wrong. Could be. But at least I read, I found some way, and I, I prefer everyone to just use his brain before using the heart and following someone. Now, if even the Sheikh of uh, Mecca or Azhar, told me something, and I don't believe in, it, in that one, I'll not do it. Yes or no, please. Just somebody tell me yes or no. Are there clear, okay, explicit sentences and verses in both the Old Testament, the New Testament, and the Quran that says that the followers of this faith are the chosen ones of God, are the preferred ones of God? Yes or no? Is there something that says the Jewish are the people of God, the Christians are the people of God, the Muslims are the people of God? Yes, yes or no? Yes. So the surface meaning would automatically mean what about the other people? Yes. So you're the people of God and the others are what? Yes. Animals? What are they? Who one judges the other people? Yes. Only God. Yeah. But m not me or you or others. It is for uh, God who will uh, judge the all people. Uh, I I think I I think in myself what I do, what I uh, my connection with other, what uh, can. Uh, uh, when I uh, be Christian, uh, I have some from our uh, my uh, book. That is not judge the other. Mm -hmm. That means I I follow my God. Yeah, but but in mm -hmm. history. Yeah. In history, how many people did really follow that? Like, didn't, did the Catholic Church, yes or no, did it judge other Christians? Not, uh, not, not believers. It came to you as a Christian and told you, are you a Christian? And you told him yes, tells you, I don't think so, I'm not sure. You know what, I need to take you with me to the church to test you for a couple of months this is, is, in the jail. I'll throw you in the jail to test how Christian you are. It is their problem, not my problem. Not my problem. Okay. It is there, written in each there book. is problem and, yeah. and other. ISIS people again will yeah. not consider any Muslim as a Muslim. Mm. Mm. You say you're a Muslim, but I don't think you are. Mm. No, no. You know, you come with me and I'll play with you just like, you know, <laughs> a cat plays with a mouse a little bit and then maybe I'll release you. Most probably I'll just chop your head. No problem. You know, because you're not like, I know what is right. I know what is right. I have the correct revelation but from God. Other people who believe because they made research. Yeah, the absolute majority just inherit the religion. So what kind of a God would reward you for something you didn't do any credit, you don't have any credit for? Like, why? okay, so you are born because I chose to have you born in the right religion, so I'll take you to heaven. And you are born in the wrong religion because I chose to have you born in the wrong religion, you go to hell. Like, you know, how fair is that? How fair is that? Like, if you know, if you really, if you want to be sure of your choice, then make your research, okay? 
How can I know? How can I know? Like this bottle of water here. If this is the very first bottle of water I've seen in my entire life, can I know if this is a special one? Is this a regular one? Is this a cheap one? Can I or can't I? Impossible. We can invite the... I can know it's regular because I've seen many. You can 